Hi everyone, today we're gonna to dive into a full body stretch, perfect for easing into movement with some gentle seated stretches to gently open up the whole body. So, find a sturdy chair and let's get started. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall in mountain pose, so nice straight back, slightly forward onto your chair, hands on top of your knees, and we're going to take three nice deep breaths in as we inhale our arms up. Exhale down. And again, inhale up. Stretch up nice and tall. Exhale down. One more breath, inhale up. Remember, if you can't get your arms all the way up, just take them up as high as you can and exhale down. And now we're going to do our arm warm up. So we're gonna take those arms out to the sides and we're gonna flip the palms back and forth. So flipping them up and flipping them down. It's great for the circulation warms up the arms, the hands, the fingers. That's it. So really spread those fingers like you've got a ball in each hand. That's it. And then we're going to bring the fingers back together. The palms are facing down. You're stretching all the way up to the shoulders. That's it. And then we're going to bring the hands up. So imagine you're pushing the walls away either side and you'll feel a stretch all the way along the underneath of your arms and then palms flat again, so down, and then bring them in and you'll feel the stretch at the top of the arms. And down, and then forward, and then we're gonna give ourselves a cuddle. We're gonna grab our shoulders, so note which arm is on top as you relax down, because we're gonna do the other side in a minute. Take a nice deep breath here. Okay, slowly lift your head, inhale your arms open. Other arm on top. And again, this is a nice self-hug, a nice cuddle. Just let your head relax, stretching out your upper back, your neck and your shoulders. And then lift your head, inhale those arms open. And lower them down. So just roll those shoulders, they should be nicely loosened up, but we'll loosen them up further. We're gonna bring the hands forward, clasp them together, inhale them up, so the elbows are close to your ears, and then we're gonna bend the, the elbows, and you'll feel that lovely stretch in the upper arms. Try not to lean back as you do this, try and sit up as straight as you can, and then inhale those hands up. Palms facing out, and then goddess or cactus arms. So palms are facing forward, your chest is opening and your shoulder blades are drawing towards each other. And then elbows and palms together. And release. We're gonna do another chest opener. This is also called a, a yoga lock. So we're gonna take the hands behind and clasp them together. So you're kind of bringing the chest forward. I'll, I'll just show you what I'm doing with my hands here. So just so that you can see. So just on your chair, take those hands behind, lift them up as much as you can. It's great for your shoulders. And release. So those shoulders are really loosened up now. And we're gonna do a side stretch. So grab hold of the right side of your chair, inhale your left arm up and reach over as far as is comfortable for you. So not too far. That's it, lovely side body stretch. Inhale back, bring that arm down. Other side, inhale up, reach over. Try not to let that arm come forward, roll the shoulder back so you get that lovely stretch up the side. Hang on to your chair, that's it. And release. Okay, cat cow. Hands on top of your knees. Well, we'll start with the uh, cow. So we'll inhale, open the chest, 
and then we'll exhale round the back bring those hands round bring those elbows forward for cat, cat pose exhale tuck your chin inhale up cow exhale cat that's great for your lower back inhale up exhale back inhale up and exhale to cat pose and slowly coming back sitting up nice and tall we're going to inhale the hands up forward we're going to lean back this is called free the spirit so you're keeping your head leaning back and you're going to bring your hands together palms together at your heart and then you go very 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 very, very slowly bring your head forward and tuck your chin so you're getting a little stretch in your neck nice and gentle here and release so the upper part of the body we've stretched out the neck the shoulders and the arms we're now going to do a twist so we're going to work our way down the body so placing your left hand on your right knee take your right hand behind sit up nice and tall exhale over your right shoulder so just breathe into the twist keeping your chest open use that hand to rotate your body around a bit more if that's comfortable for you that's it and release to the front I love the twists they're so good for you other side right hand on your left knee left hand behind big breath in so lift up exhale over the left shoulder again another little stretch for your neck as well obviously only turn your head if it's if you want to turn your head towards the front that's fine always with these poses listen to your body we're all different so we want to feel good okay release come back to the front we're going to do eagle arms now so we're going to bring those hands forward palms together so imagine bringing your shoulders as far forward as you can and we're going to cross that right elbow over the left now you can bind your hands or clasp the hands or if that's too too strong for your wrists and arms grab your shoulders so there's always a modification so this is fine this is great for your joints so do which of those works for you i like to clasp my hands together but or palms together that's good for me but listen to your body just breathe into those joints to say it's wonderful for your joints keep breathing and slowly unwind in between just give them a shake that's it and then we're going to bring those arms forward again so this time we're going to put left elbow over right cross them over shoulders or bind your hands again whatever works for you so you're bringing those shoulders really far forward and holding this pose is allowing your wrists your shoulders your elbows to, to be flooded with synovial fluid so think of it as oiling your joints really good for you and release and again just shake those arms roll your shoulders okay we're going to move on now to a squat so we're going to open these legs nice and wide so again come forward sitting on the edge of your chair just make sure you're nice and sturdy the knees are bent you're getting this lovely stretch in your inner thighs sitting up nice and tall we're going to place that right forearm on top of the thigh and bring the left arm alongside the ear again don't let the arm come forward take it back reach over so you get a nice side stretch nice side body stretch so we're doing the whole body remember keep breathing and inhale up and bring that arm down we'll do the other side inhale that right arm up 
And again, lean over. That's it. And release. So we've kind of opened up the hips and we're going to get ourselves into our warrior sequence. So we'll do the right side first. So turn to the right side of your chair and bring that knee back as far as you can and take that left leg behind. If your chair is, is wide, you can always take that leg out to the side. But if you can take it out behind and then that foot becomes flat on the floor, you're, that, this is the traditional warrior pose. So standing up nice and tall, standing up nice and tall, stretching out and sitting up nice and tall. So stretch those arms. This is warrior two, seated warrior two. We'll take a nice big breath in and then let that back hand slide down and the right hand comes up. So you're getting a stretch here. Listen to your body. And inhale back. So stretch those arms. Imagine someone's pulling them in opposite directions. And then into side angle. We're going to brace that front forearm on top of your thigh and your left arm alongside your ear. So a lovely side body stretch. Really all the way down to your, your little toe on your left foot. And back, inhale. Back to that warrior two. Lower down, we're going to do the other side. So shift back onto your chair, turn to your left. So the crook of your knee against the back of the chair, take that right leg back or out to the side. So whatever works for you, remember, adapt to your chair and your body. Stretch those arms out. Okay, so nice big breath in. Warrior two, and then reverse it. Back hand slides down the back leg, front hand up. That's it, nice tall reverse warrior this is. And then inhale back, stretch those arms. And then side angle, front forearm on top of your thigh. Your right arm alongside your ear again, rolling that shoulder back. Remember, as you roll the shoulder back, that's what keeps everything aligned. So from down from your foot, all the way up to your fingertips. If you come forward, it's out of line. So but listen to your body, hold on to your chair, whatever you need to do. Have a really good stretch here and don't forget to breathe. Most important. <laughs> and release. Okay, so coming back. We're gonna come back, sitting on our chair, bringing our legs forward. So we're gonna kind of do a little bit of a, a coordinated sort of seated march here. So we're gonna stretch out one, the opposite leg and the opposite arm. So we'll begin with that. So stretch out your right, your right leg and your left arm. And then we're gonna alternate. So you can take your arm up or straight out. So whatever works for you. Okay, so alternate like a seated march. So it's great for your legs. Try not to sort of sink down into your chair. Try and keep that back nice and straight and that core nice and strong. And keep breathing. That's most important. So you can take that other hand behind. Just get it to work for you. There's no hard and fast rules. Just keep moving. <laughs> And it doesn't matter how high you get your leg either. Do it as much as you can. One more on each side. And we're done. Okay. We are now going to do a knee, a, a knee to hug, knee to hug, knee to chest hug. So bring that right leg up and hug it in. Really give it a good hug. And then we're going to take that foot, we're going to go into our figure four pose, so sitting up nice and tall, a little bit of pressure on that knee, coming forward, not too much, opening up that hip, lovely, that's it, and coming back, bring that leg down, other side, Lift up, hug that leg. Hug it as much as you can. Sit up nice and tall. Grab the foot. 
other side, a little bit of pressure. Try not to sink into your shoulders, sit up as tall as you can. And then just gently press on that knee and come forward as much as you can. And release. Okay, so bringing those feet back down, sitting in mountain again, sitting up nice and tall, hands on your knees. And we're gonna uh, do heel and toe rock. So we're gonna lift up, back and forth. Oh, look, I've got my hands going as well. <laughs> back and forth. That's it. So it's great for your ankles. Just keep them, keep them moving. And it's great for your circulation. I've said this in lot, I might do these in lots of my videos and it is so important, especially if you're sitting because you're just not moving those legs. So it's great for the circulation of your legs. Okay. Couple more. And release. Okay. Ankle circles, right foot out. Back the other way. And down. Left foot out. Other way. Wonderful, okay. Big stretch up. Big forward fold. Exhale forward, coming down, grab your feet, let your head hang down, and then we're going to sweep up, bring those arms up, and then down again, and inhale up, and one more, exhale down, inhale up, Reach up nice and tall, and then lower those arms down. We're gonna do one more twist, but this time we're gonna cross the legs. So I can imagine this is the lower part of eagle balance. You can tuck your leg all the way around or just cross your knees. Keeping that left hand on your right knee. Again, we're gonna take that right hand behind. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Look over our right shoulder. Keep breathing. Remember these um, twists massage your, not only are they good for your back and your spine, but they massage your internal organs. So they're wonderful for your digestion and so many things. So, so many, they just feel good. Just keep breathing. And release. And we'll do the other side. Cross your left leg over your right. Hold that. Right knee with your left hand, left hand behind, big breath in. Look over your left shoulder. So you're getting a nice opening across your shoulders as well, across your chest. Breathe. And release. Okay, we are almost done. We're going to do one more of uh, the pose that I do at the beginning, the free the spirit. So we're going to inhale the arms up. We're going to lean back, open the chest, stretch out the neck and the throat, bring the palms together and then gently roll the head forward. So really slow. That's it. And then bring those hands back down, sit up nice and tall in Seated mountain again. We're going to inhale the hands up. Exhale the hands down to your heart. Exhale through the mouth. We're going to place the hands on the knees and we're just going to take a few moments with our eyes closed just to feel what we've done for our body. Just enjoy the stillness of sitting up nice and tall. Relax. 
Hopefully you've got that yoga tingle, the circulation. Slowly open your eyes and namaste. So thank you so much for joining me for this full body stretch. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's left you feeling really good. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought and come back to this practice often because the more you do it, the more flexible you'll get and the better you'll feel. Thanks so much. Take care. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.